welcome back to Erica's Welsh Garden. Today is uh, Friday the 26th of March. As you can see, we're indoors at home and we are just in what we call the kind of garage room at home. This is the original kitchen of the house and um, we just moved in, put a lot of stuff in here and we haven't done anything to the room since. Um, as you can see behind me, this room does need decorating. I just stupidly pulled a lot of the wallpaper off when we moved in and three years later, it's still not done. But what is good about this room is we don't really ever come in here. There is a big radiator and the children don't really come in here either, which means I have a big windowsill here, which I can use to put seeds on and get them started off. It's March 26th. Most people I see like all over social media at the moment, they have loads of seedlings um, all over the place and they're doing really well. But unfortunately I don't. Um, I started off my onions quite early in the year and then I put my tomatoes in the polytunnel, which thinking about now was probably not the best um, of ideas because it kind of still got quite cold. We're still getting ground frost and stuff like that. And unfortunately, none of them have germinated. I did bring those seeds back home actually, which are down here. I bought them back and I thought I would let them sit in the warm and see if they germinate, but as of yet, none of them have germinated, but unfortunately, they also had dried out. So whether or not they were about to germinate, then they dried out and they just just gave up. Because I am so far behind, I thought I really have to get on and get some seeds sown. So today I've had like a mass planting of seeds and um, they're all behind me on this shelf. And I thought I'd just give you a quick um, look at the seeds that I've sown this morning. Um, if you are familiar with my channel and you watched my last video where I gave you a bit of a plot update and showed you what my kind of project at home was, that it was now complete. Um, I've just been really busy all week kind of tidying up that area and stuff and I, it's still getting quite cold in there at night. So what I'm going to do is hopefully germinate all of these seeds here and then I can transfer them into the greenhouse and they can grow on from there. I was hoping to have a video out all about that um, that project but because this week's been a bit crazy and it's just been a bit of a bitty week where I've been busy getting on with like you know infrastructure jobs that aren't worth filming but it's kind of taken me away from actually doing any gardening so watch this space um, but I'll show you what I have sown this morning so please tell me it's not just me that's so far behind this year I don't know what is is going on the weather hasn't been great and stuff and I just I've just been rubbish at getting things started off. Um, but at the back row here, we've got a re-sowing of my tomatoes. So we have the Estonian yellow mini cherry tomato, we've got Money Maker, we've got Yellow Delight and Yellow Delight there. Um, one of them was Save Seeds from 2019. Um, I'm not sure which one though. Ah, uh, right, okay, these ones are the saved seeds and these ones are the new seeds. So with these two, I'm really hoping that we can um, get an idea of how well the seeds that I say germinate compared to the other ones but you know the other ones never germinated in this one here we've got daisy um a daisy meadow I think these are um just the normal daisies that you get in your lawn I bought some seeds from the grange no the range um, I bought some seeds from the range um a little while ago and I thought they would be perfect if they germinate I'm going to put them all over the lawn um the next one here I've got um kale green dwarf not ever heard of that one before actually um i found it in a um a other um kale like packet that i had but anyway that's some kale i'm hoping to get a really nice kale patch going this year um, in this one here, I've got Paddy, which is a big cabbage, and that is from the Heritage Seed Library. So is this one. Um, and then I've got some red pear tomatoes. So all together, I'll have um, five varieties of tomatoes, but this was really old seed. So we'll see how those ones germinate. Um, over here, we've got some parsley, um, and then we've got some um, kale, and that's uh, Nero di Toscano. Um, and the other one with the dwarf one, I'm not sure how that compares um, in, with what it looks like and stuff, but I think um, Nero di Toscano also is known as like dinosaur kale. Uh, then we've got uh, sweet basil. 
I'm really hoping with the basil and the parsley, they're the only um, seeds that I had for herbs, but I'm really hoping that I can get a good amount of herbs growing this year. Uh, then I've got, um, oh, I think that's spelt wrong. It's like a um, Geldinia. I spelled it completely wrong there, but that is a really pretty um, flower. Let me just find this seed a minute. Okay, so that is what I've got growing in here. Uh, this is a perennial. I'm hoping to get quite a lot of perennial plants growing this year. I've got the lupins and some other bits and pieces up um, in the garden already germinated and, and growing nicely. So that will be just another one to go with that. Uh, then I've got some other parsley. Now this parsley here I think was the fat, flat leaf and this parsley here is the um, really tight curly, I think it is, um, I can't remember. Um, and then we've got a scarlet kale and we've also got some um, a tray of asters um, I thought they were perennial but apparently these are hardy annuals I believe um, but I've put a whole tray here and then hopefully I can put those around the garden um, definitely this year is one really for trying to learn um, all about flowers and stuff I've also got some on the floor so I'll quickly show you those as well so in this tray here, I've got some oriental mustard. It was one of those um, kind of seed packets that you get free from the magazine that's all mixed up. So hopefully these do quite well. I'm really hoping this year that I can pick salad leaves every single day. You know, we really like it as a family. And, you know, a, a packet of supermarket salad is about a pound, but also it comes in plastic and then you chuck some of it out because it goes manky. So um, hopefully this one will be quite like a peppery one and then we can put it with some milder um, salad as well. And then the next one we've got is um, two rows of Lola Russo and then um, endive for the salad as well. So hopefully I can kind of put these out fairly um, kind of spaced out and can have them as cut and come again. Um, but again, you know, all of this is old seed, so I'm hoping that um, they come through okay. There you go, that is what I have sown today. Um, please tell me though, it's not just me that is so far behind. I honestly think this is like the worst year I've ever had. Um, but now I've kind of got my greenhouse um, up. And I've also got my allotment kind of sorted and I've got beds there and stuff. I can really start to plan where some of these things are going to go now, which um, in the past I used to be really good at starting off all of the seeds. And then I'd have nowhere for them to go because I was really disorganised. So hopefully uh, this will be the start and kind of this year I'm probably less organised with the seeds, but I'm more organised with the ground. So if I can kind of bring it together, hopefully I will be um, a much better and more successful gardener going forward. Um, with the uh, with these I actually have a heated propagator like base and I think I'm going to put these on the heated propagator so they can germinate quicker as soon as these germinate they will be going straight out into the greenhouse or at the polytunnel um, so there you go I'm really sorry, this is probably not a very interesting video, but I just wanted to catch up with you because like I said earlier in the video, I've just had a bit of a bitty week. Hopefully um, next week going forward, we will have a lot more going on. My potatoes, I haven't planted them yet. Last year, when the first lockdown happened, obviously that was more than a year ago now, and I can remember us at the allotment, we were all really busy working, the weather was good, and we were all thinking about, you know, when we were putting our potatoes in, or we had actually put potatoes in by then, whereas this year, it's so much colder. We also had that late frost in May, so I kind of like, I think I'm going to have to bite the bullet and start planting my um, potatoes, maybe, you know, half of them next week and then going forward from there because I have the potato buckets. And I had thought about doing that today, but last night and this morning, the weather was really terrible. So um, definitely have a lot more going on next week. And I'm really hoping that I can give you a tour of my new greenhouse by then. Um, this week, I've been getting the bed sorted out. Um, I've got some racking in there and things. So um it's definitely all coming together, but just really slowly. And um, anyway, I'm gonna leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, then please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to so be notified of all of my latest videos. As ever, YouTube have some videos up on the screen now that they think you'll like. So please go ahead and watch those and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Bye.